Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this section of where we're going to get started with our Spotfire desktop. In this lesson, we'll be learning about how we're going to get around in Spotfire Desktop. But before we do that, let me just tell you about what we're going to cover in this whole course. So basically, these are the contents of what we're going to cover in our whole course. Uh, we're going to start with the introduction to our data visualization. Then we're going to walk through our data analytics using our Spotfire Desktop. We're going to import our files and our databases files. We're going to visualize data with different visualizations. We're going to filter data and filter schemes. We're going to create details visualizations using markings and we're going to learn how markings work. We're going to present geographical information using map charts and we're also going to learn presentation strategies with TIPCO Spotfire. These are just summarized notes of what we're going to learn in this course. So let's get right to it and see our Spotfire desktop over here. I have my Spotfire desktop app. As you can see, I've already loaded my data. And over here, I have copied the data, of historical data of inflation from the Bank of Canada. So let's get right to our typical Spotfire and look around the software and how we can use the data on simple basis. So unlike the older versions of the software, this software is more compact and modernized. Up here you can see you have your file tabs where you can open, save, save as, and you have other options of exporting and printing. Over here you also have the option of editing where you can copy special, you can reset filters, and these are the things we learn in the lessons that will come through. We have the data option where we can add calculated columns, add bin column, and other columns as well. We have visualizations, and you can create a new page for your visualizations. As you can see, the page has been created. Let's just close that. And you can delete a page as well. You can add a visualization like this. You can also go to your view tab, add data, filters, details on demand, and do other stuff that you can play around with as well. You have your tools option, the developer tools, and you can copy your URL to a clipboard. Also, you have all these other clustering and modeling options that we'll go through with in the other lesson. You can get help from TIPCO Spotfire using support, and you also have your user options. Right now, I'm using TIPCO Spotfire offline, but when you have your user options, you have the option of my account. Over here, you have the option of adding your data. Currently, I've already added the data table by pasting it from the clipboard. You can browse local files. As you can see, it loads a local file. And you can also connect to data. Over here, you have the option of looking at your data. As you can see, there is the number and the categories. The CPI inflation, the CPI common, median, trim, and the quarter. These are the categories and the numbers. And over here you have how your different types of visualizations, which include the table, cross table, graphical table, text area, bar charts, waterfall charts, line charts, combinations, etc. We're going to learn these in the lessons that are to come through. And right now I'm just going to show you an example of how you can access your visualizations. One example was from here and one example was from here. You can add tables or you can add a bar chart as well. And what happens, I want to show you something good about Spotfire, is that it automatically calculates what you want to do with your data. So right now, I didn't choose what I wanted on my x-axis and y-axis, but typical Spotfire guessed at itself. And it was a pretty good guess where we can see the row count and the CPI inflation. This is uh, the distribution of the CPI inflation, which is something that I would want with my data. But right now, let's just close it. We have editing options and we have the viewing options as well. Other options include exploring by searching and also starting from data. You can also start from visualizations and you have options over here of finding, offline, notifications, bookmarks, and filters. Over here, as you can see, there is a 
it gives us the number of rows in our data and currently zero data is marked and five columns are there in our data. Over here we have our data canvas and we're going to learn how to connect the data in this as well. So let's go back to our area over here. And as you can see, Tipco Swapfire is a very easy visualization software, but with practice, you can learn it easily. So I hope you understood how you can use Tipco Swapfire on a basic overview. And I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.